Today I'd like to show you some stubborn biblical facts that have to do with death. So even growing up as an agnostic myself, I was taught to believe that when you die, your spirit or your soul is ejected, as it were, from your body and goes up either to heaven or to hell, as this picture shows. But there are some uh, interesting things about the Bible. The most common description of death is sleep, from which one day you will wake up. So the belief is told to us most popularly in Daniel 12, which has to do with the resurrection of the dead. It says that the people will be raised from the ground, from the earth, some to eternal life, some to eternal damnation. The other fact is that we have to consider that all the Old Testament kings died or were laid to rest with their fathers. That is, they fell asleep. This is a natural way of talking about the dead Israelite kings. That's the phrase that most translations use. They either died or were and then were laid to rest with their fathers. So you would see also that in the New Testament, for example, in Acts 13, 36, and Stephen, when Stephen is stoned to death. The other fact is that the Pharisees in Reformed Judaism of today, like Christian Orthodoxy, have adopted the immortal soul doctrine despite what the their Bible, both Jews and Christians, what the Bible teaches. So for example, you have this conference that took place in Pittsburgh in 1885 from a Jewish community of American rabbis. And if you go down there to the second paragraph, you see that they reasserted the doctrine that the soul is immortal, grounding the belief on the divine nature of human spirit, they said, which forever finds bliss in righteousness and misery in wickedness. They also rejected, as you can see, the beliefs of both bodily resurrection in that is hell or Gehenna or Eden in paradise. Now, according to the book by John Levinson, Resurrection and the Restoration of Israel, classical Judaism believed at one time in the resurrection of the dead. Indeed, he says, insisted upon it as a defining tenet of the community. Today, he says, this comes as a shock to most Jews and Christians alike. Abba Hillel, Silver, a Reformed rabbi, one of the most important figures in American Judaism, in his influential volume where Judaism deferred, presents the resurrection of the dead as a late and degraded development in Jewish thought, a borrowing from foreign sources to which the Jews added nothing original. So that's Levinson quoting uh, Mr. Silver there. The Christians, he goes on, vulnerable to a crude superstition about a God-man who came back from the dead, have perverted the Hebrew Bible by introducing something altogether foreign into it. So, what are we left here? Left with here? Well, both Judaism and Christianity have discarded one of the most fundamental beliefs regarding what happens when you die. 